Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about program to display triangle using a star in this format. Next, I am going to discuss about the triangle method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after control comes to this point. At here, I have taken two integer time variable int i j. Now, I start from 1. Check the condition i less than equal to 5 means 1 less than equal to 5. Uh, so, that's true. Control comes inside. At here, j start from 1. Check the condition j not equal to 1. So this condition is not true. So control comes to this point. Here after control again go up and increase the value of i. So i become 1 to 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 5. That's true. Here after j will start from 1. So, 1 again, check the condition 1 greater less than or 2, that's 2. Control come inside after leaving one line, also that print a star. So now, or j increase by 1. So, j become 1 to 2. Check the condition 2 less than 2, that's not 2. Control comes to this point. Cursor blink at the new line. Hereafter again increase the value of i. So i become 2 to 3. Check the condition 3 less than equal to 5. Condition 2 come inside. J start from 1 again. And 1 less than 3. Condition 2 print up. So print your star again. Check the increase the value of or j. So j become 2. Check the condition 2 less than 3. Again, go inside, print a star. Here, or uh, that go again up and increase the value of j. So j become 3. Or uh, check the condition 3 less than 3. So that's not true. Not go inside here. Cursor come to this point. Or uh, new line. So control comes to this point. Here after I gonna increase by 1, so I become 3 to 4. Or check the condition 4 less than equal to 5, that's true. Again go inside, j start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to 4, that's true. So i value is now 4, that's true. Go inside and uh, print a star. Here after j gonna increase by 1, so j become 1 to 2. Check the condition 2 less than 4, condition 2, again that print a star. Again j gonna increase by 1, so j become 2 to 3. So check the condition 3 less than 4, uh, condition 2, so print a star. Here after or j gonna increase by 1, so j increase to 3 to 4. Check the condition 4 less than 4, so that's not true. Control come to this point and now our cursor blink at the new line. Here after 
I gonna increase by one. So I become or uh, or to five. Check the condition five less than five. Or uh, condition two. So right here. Or uh, that coincide. Or uh, J start from one again. And uh, check the condition one less than I value five. Condition two one less than or uh, five. No. Or uh, that print a star. Here after j gonna increase by one, so j become or one to two. So check the condition two less than i value five. Two less than five. That's two again. That print a star. So j increase by one. So j become three. Check the condition three less than i value five. Condition two print a star. So j again increase by 1, so j become 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5, that's true, print a star. Now here after, or j. Is now 4. So j increase by 1, so j become 4 to 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5, that's not true, print a. So add your cursor, blink, add the new line. Now here after then go up, increase the value of i. So i become 6. Uh, check the condition, 6 less than 5. So that's not true. So that go. Uh, so that's not true. So that will out from upper for loop. Control comes to this point. And here that take one input from keyword and terminate the output scene. So this is the way of execution of this program. So I hope you understand. Thanks for watching. See you next week.